Welcome to Tanks and Vest. We talk about investing, finance, or professional women. As a recording time of 3.47 p.m. on the Eastern Time, Ethereum contract $2,700, up about 4% so far. As you can see clearly on the crypto market, we are normalizing. Uh, but if you look specifically on a technical front, we are levitating in between levels across the entire market right now. Um, so quite interesting to see that we've just been levitating throughout the day at relatively flat levels on a technical perspective. And on a media front, um, just looking across the spectrum, it seems like with respect to the tranche one sanction that was initialized a couple of days ago, it seems like they have escalated that to a direct sanction onto President Vladimir Putin and its direct elite aid. Uh, and I don't know why they call it elites, but I guess if you put them on the ranking of Putin, I guess you call it call it that way. Um, at the same time, on the um, invasion front, it seems like NATO has deployed troops in response, obviously defensively, to try to contain the assaults that's currently cultivating Ukraine. And in a statistical perspective, it seems like approximately about 200 people uh, has died so far from uh, the cultivation of the invasion so far. And across the spectrum, with respect to the COVID news that's per per kind of popping up again, it seems like the CDC in the U.S., they're kind of relaxed right now with respect to the COVID guidance, um, allowing most people in the U.S. to basically ditch their masks if their the respective domestic level of hospitali hospitalization rates remains low or at the optimal level. So interesting to see that, you know, it seems like COVID is kind of subsiding a little bit, but the war is kind of percolating. Interest rate is still kind of spiking. Um, so it seems like with respect to COVID, it used to be like the primary factor of driving market sell up, but now it's the secondary factor for obvious reasons, right? In addition to that, just looking at the um, some of the news coming from the White House, it seems like Biden has nominated uh, Katanji Brown Jackson to be next Supreme Court just Justice. So she's going to be a, a new woman, uh, African woman at, uh, uh, at the same time, on to being a Supreme, Supreme Court Justice. So definitely more diversification in the uh, political ecosystem is something we appreciate. So definitely great news. Um, in addition, overall, it seems like across the market is relatively uh, on the rebound. Um, it seems like Collectively, the sanction is kind of an optimistic news across the spectrum, and the COVID news is also supporting as well, so driving some buying pressure across the spectrum. So without wasting more time, let's just dive into the technical analysis. With respect to recording time of approximately 10 minutes away from the market closing, nine minutes now to be more specific. specific. Um, Ethereum's kind of trading at the flat level, right, 2,700, but if you look in a technical, we know that's not real level, right? The real level is technically at the 2,628. The real next level up is basically 2,850, so we're still lingering, um, and, you know, whenever you're kind of levitating, you have a high propensity to actually go back down rather than going back up. So that's just a um, kind of rule of thumb based on my experience of observing the market. So at the moment right now, we're at neutral with the 45 out of 70 curving back up. So it seems like the revival is uh, trying to happen, but is it sustainable? I would say it's kind of a mixed signal right now. Like these two are like neutral. This kind of canceled out. So net net is still kind of negative, to be honest with you. Bitcoin is, uh, let me just, okay, let's just go back to Bitcoin is at the one up 1.77% 1 right now. Uh, just below again right at 40,000 with the 4570 so trade in the same fashion as Ethereum right now so either 40,000 or go back down to 37,500 Dogecoin up about 1% anywhere from current level all the way to 10 cents is still logical uh, with respect to Cardano it's up about 3.4% anywhere from current level all the way to the 74 cents is still logical Solana is flat again right anywhere from current level all the way to 75 is logical right now the 42 out of 70 so uh, it's okay it's not the terrible it's not like a super bad level to incur risk it's still logical XRP is up about 5% uh, anywhere from basically 63 to 57 is logical Polkadot's up about 1% so far 1654 anywhere from basically 1589 to $14 below would be logical at the 36 out of 70 Algorand's up about 5% as well, uh, anywhere from um, current level all the way to 68. This is logical at 36 out of 70. 
Shiba Inu, uh, 2400 right now. Again, low 2000s, 1400 to 9000, 900 from here. Uh, Mac tax about 6%. Again, 142 to 120. We bounce from 143 exactly because technicals always speaks the truth. Uh, with the 43 of 70, so again, 40, 142 to 120. AVAX, uh, 777 right now. Lucky number, I guess. Uh, 59 to 50 again, right? This is not sustainable. We have a head and shoulder clearly that's being formed right now. 50 out of 70, so not a good level to buy at. Luna, it's at 70 right now. We are at the 65 out of 70, very dragged up. Um, I don't advise chasing right now. This doesn't seem very um, like an organic pump, right? This seems like a like this is too fast, too quick. Let's just put it that way. 65 of 70. Uh, again, the frames are 62. 52.45 from here, right? So that's it for today with respect to my technical analysis review. Uh, appreciate you guys for, you know, joining me on this uh, roller coaster ride for this basically whole week so far. Um, definitely, it's been a wild one. And I feel like you and I have been uh, just riding on this roller coaster ride for ages now. It seems like, you know, th through these hard times, we're definitely building a a stronger friendship collectively, let's just put it that way. So definitely appreciate you for joining me every single day. And let me know if you have any questions in the meantime. Alright, take care. Bye.